Hi everyone, uh, just want to do a real quick review on some shocks that I just put on my truck. Uh, these are rear shocks. Um, I went with the, uh, after a little bit of review, I went with the Bilstein 5100 shocks and just kind of show you why I ended up doing that. Um, I'm going to spin over here and show you. Yeah, these are my stock shocks. This one right here would be the right shock and you see how it is you know, fully extended. You'll see the left one not fully extended and you'll see all the fluid on the shock. And you can see right here, let me zoom this out a little bit. You see how easy it was to push that shock down and watch the rebound on it. Yeah, pretty much non-existent. So this left shock was just totally blown out, um, leaking fluid. And uh, yeah, there it is. So anyway, so I did a little review and started looking around and um, it seemed the consensus was, uh, I, I talked to the local shop, um, one of the local parts stores and asked them, I looked at some reviews online Talked to one of the local part shops and they all seem to have favorable reviews of the Bildstein or Bildstein, however you want to say it, 5100 shocks. And um, I looked, there was a heavy duty shock that they make and there's a 5100. The 5100s, I think they gear towards lifted trucks. You can get them, I think, up to three inch lift trucks. Um, my truck is not lifted. I have a uh, 2011 F-150 uh, Super Crew with the long wheelbase. It's got the full size bed on it and it's not lifted it's a two-wheel drive but um it's kind of a vanity issue i guess you would say that i ended up going with the uh the 5100s the 5100s i got they say that they're they are good for a um zero to one inch lift on your truck like i said i have a, a zero lift on it uh, but i'm going to show you the hd shocks that they that they sell that uh bill sign sells are yellow and a powder kind of a bright blue and i have a black and gold truck so and the shocks do show and i did not want a bright yellow and powder blue uh shocks sounds kind of silly but anyway the 5100s i think are supposed to be a step up anyway from the basic ones um so i ended up getting the 5100s and i was worried about because they're made for lifted trucks I was worried that they might raise the height of the rear end of my truck, which I didn't really want because uh, the newer Ford trucks, they kind of sit uh, tail high anyway. A lot, of, uh, a lot of people end up putting lifts in the front of the trucks, even the two-wheel drive trucks, just to level them. Um, and also, that was kind of my mindset, uh, kind of thinking down the road. The, um, the 5100s for the fronts, the fronts are coilover shocks, and Bildstein makes a 5100 uh, coilover shock that's capable of lifting two inches. So I was thinking down the road when I got the 5100s for the rear that eventually I'll get the 5100s for the front and I can actually use those to add a little bit of lift to the front of the truck to kind of level it out. Um, seeing reviews on them and seeing um, the way they work they look like they're slick you don't have to put any other kind of lift or any kind of spacer in there the shocks are made um, with built-in spacers and you can lift the truck up to two inches so um, looks like a really slick deal so that's kind of another reason that i ended up going with the 5100 i'm going to spin my camera around here and show you just real quick uh the 5100s it's uh they're a silver like kind of an aluminum let's see if i can get up in there uh, there they are right there uh, nice silver outside now what's interesting about these is if you look down there there's a boot on the bottom of them and I know a lot of people that you know run lifted trucks or anything like that is they'll put the boot on top um, that was one of the things I was kind of curious about but according to Bildstein um, they are made to where the boot see right here they're made to where the boot goes on the bottom and there are drain holes in the boot so if you actually you know if, and there's like a it's you know it's secure up at the top of the boot but there are drain holes uh in the bottom of the boot so you won't get any water or anything collecting up in there so excuse me so anyway you can uh you know you won't get any water or anything trapped up in there you don't have to worry about that and corroding it or anything like that 
as far as getting them on, uh, really, really crazy simple. It's just two bolts. You don't even have to jack the truck up. You just leave the truck on the, uh, where it's at. Um, you have to compress the shocks. I only had to compress the shocks maybe an inch. Uh, it's two bolts. You take the stock bolts out, put them back in, put a little blue uh, Loctite on them, and you're good to go. Torque them to about, I think it's about 65, 66 pounds, uh, and you are good to go. It's about a once you kind of figure out how to get up in there and how you, what's your best angle of attack, they're not difficult bolts to get to at all, but just kind of kind of tweaking them with the two wrenches, you just got to figure out what's comfortable when you're under the truck. Maybe a 30 minute job, and that's if you're kind of taking your time. As far as the rod goes, uh, immediately notice the difference in the rod. Uh, obviously I had a blown out shock, so it wasn't doing much for me. Uh, so that maybe that's not saying a lot, but I will say that um, I'm not getting a, I'm not getting as much of the hop. Uh, some, you know, some of the bigger trucks are, uh, I know the Fords, they kind of been known for being a little hoppy in the tail end when you're not carrying something or you don't have a load in the back end, you'll get a little bouncy, uh, going over rough roads. Uh, I noticed, I, I noticed that some of that went away. And then the other thing that I really noticed immediately is just even driving out of my driveway through my subdivision is the truck felt like it rode smoother it took some of the big bumps uh took some of the 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 feeling of the big bumps that i was hitting i was going around hitting everything i could just to just to test them out like i was going around hitting potholes and manhole covers and things like that and i could tell the difference between the front shocks and the rear shocks i would go over something with the front tire get a good bump and barely feel anything going over with the rear tire so for those big bumps definitely could tell a big difference um, the rod seemed to be a lot more settled than it was before. So, um, yeah, so just initial impression, like I said, I just did a short test drive today after I put them on. I'll put a few more miles on them and get a, maybe get a more long-term impression of them. But so far, so good, super easy. Um, I bought the shocks off of Amazon. They're a little bit more expensive than if you were to go buy a set of Monroes or something like that from your parts store. But I think from what I've seen, and so far just with my limited experience with them, it's probably worth the extra couple bucks that I paid for them. So if you're looking for some new shocks for your truck, check out these Bilstein uh, 5100s. All right, thanks.